How's it going everyone? Right in the eye here. Back to you guys with another video. And today's video, we are going to be talking about Skylake. In particular, the Intel Core i7-6700K Skylake processor against the Haswell Intel Core i7-4790K processor. And... Today we're going to be comparing, uh, my, this is from a Japanese website here, this leaked, this was also on some other uh, various media websites, about the performance, netting you right around an average of 7%. Alright, let's just get right into it here. Okay, so, PC Mark 8, conventional home benchmark, uh, as you can see here is um around plus 6.7 percent better see on some of these there's even some of these um where the 4790k is beating it so some of these the, like the, the, these are the stats overall compared these this is the stats um that is reading compared to the 4790k so plus means plus for that and minus means minus for the 6700k so in this here cinebench rs this is pretty good the FPS net here is actually substantial at 29% FPS gain, which is pretty insane. I mean, as of right now, I don't even see that big of a gain between my 4790K against my brother's uh, i7 X99 platform 5930K. So I don't know if that that's probably just a CPU bench only, but I'm talking about in particular to games. But let's get back to the, uh, the benchmarks here. Some of these are negative. Some of these are negative. With, with current gen GPUs, so 970s here, look at that, it's negative, better on the 4790K. So, and I've heard some sources say that this is going to be a um, $400 chip. This is going to be a $400 chip, see, here we go, tells you everything here of how they set it up. Um, and they were both clocked at 4 gigahertz, and remember that this is a... Um, this is a tick and a talk all in one. So it's a new processor and they're talking it all, all in one, uh, generation, which is kind of interesting, um, in the sense that this is, we're only getting 7% overall increase here, 7% for, you're going to have to buy, uh, a new motherboard because you're going to have to have that 1151 socket. You're going to have to buy most likely DDR4 RAM because although these processors can work with DDR3 and DDR4 RAM, most of the high-end motherboards that I've seen, like, for instance, the Gigabyte GA-Z170X G1 Gaming motherboard, their top-tier motherboard for this platform, um, it runs DDR4 RAM. It has DDR4 RAM slots, so you're going to have to spend DDR4, you're, you're going to get better RAM with this upgrade, yes, but you're looking at spending... I would personally uh, get the best of everything that I possibly could, like 2666 RAM, uh, the, obviously the 6700K, and the top tier motherboard from Gigabyte, because I run Gigabyte motherboards because I like their AI suites. But, um, I would... I, it probably would cost me like a, upwards of $1,000 just to upgrade to this, because um, I'd probably want to get another 32 gig kit of RAM, Corsair Vengeance, uh, LPX RAM at 2666. And, like, this RAM right here, actually, this red RAM, except not at that speed, that's ridiculous. But, um, and it's going to run you on $1,000. I could upgrade right now to the X99 platform, put in that same RAM on the Gigabyte X99, um, G1 gaming motherboard, and I could spend right around eleven to $1,200. So, like, $200 more, I'm going from not just a, um, a faster quad core, I'm going all the way up, and I would put in the 5930K, so... That's a that's a six core processor, and if I didn't want to do that, you could just go with a 5820K, and you'd spend right around the same amount of money because the 5820K is right around three hundred and eighty dollars, and this processor is around four hundred. And I'm not slamming the 6700K, but if you're at a current gen 4790K Haswell processor, you're in just as good a shape as the people who are on X99 platform right now. They're just on X99, and they're at the tick stage. So when X99 talks next year. Most likely, you're going to want to pick that up if you're on X99. So, I just don't... Uh, I mean, you got to remember, Haswell's in its uh, talk stage of Intel's release pa uh, roads. So, the 4790K is the best processor that you're going to get. That's quad-core. That's not going to cost you a whole bunch of money. And that is going to net you the best... 
price per performance, and I'm not usually about price per performance myself. I mean, I do have a lot of insane components in my computer. Two Tech Nexus, hybrids, 4790K, obviously. I have the Gigabyte Z97X G1 Gaming Motherboard, uh, 850 Pro Series SSDs, stuff like that, 1200 watt. Power supply by Corsair, the 1200i, you know, 13 fans, 360 rad um, for the CPU cooler, a cable kit that's all red, you know, but nothing about that. It's just, I don't believe that this processor is actually worth it if that's all we're getting is a 7% increase from the 4790K. Personally, that's not worth it to me. It's not, especially when I really want to go X99. So, yeah, and just to take a look at this other one here. Um, same same thing going on here. We're looking at not that. Look at that's a four percent difference. That's a, like about a nine percent difference. Four eight eight four eight. See what I'm saying? It's just it's not that it's not that much of a gain that you're getting here. You're not getting really anything of a gain. See if I keep scrolling down. Here's the thing here. So it looks like it's gonna have eight megabytes of L3 cache. So you're not getting you're not gaining anything there. It is a 14 nanometer process, so who knows if you, uh, it does have a higher TDP, so you're looking at more heat. You're looking at more heat. And you also got to remember, this thing is also clocked lower, or it's clocked exactly the same. They're both at 4 gigahertz out of the box. But the 4790K turbos to 4.4. If you're not doing any overclocking, I don't know why you're getting a K anyway, but you're going to have a faster processor right out of the box. This The 6700K, I believe, only um, turbos to 4.2 gigahertz as the 4790K. It goes to 4.4. Now, the one thing I will say is if you really want to get an integrated um, graphics on your CPU and you want to run that, well, first of all, you should be getting Broadwell right now because Broadwell is actually pretty decent with that uh, onboard graphics on the chip, the Broadwell uh, 5775C. But I guess if you wanted to spend even more money and pick up one of these Skylake processors for the integrated graphics, you could do that as well. I mean, this is a pretty good... Uh, integrated graphics here uh, this as far as I've heard um, so yeah I mean this has been right in the eye here let me go let me know what you guys think down in the comments below please like this video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it and leave a comment down below as to why you did so this has been right in the eye I will catch you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching